For anyone who's heard much about the Edinburgh Tram Project, it might sound like a train wreck from start to finish. Here are the facts so you can judge for yourself. The original plan was for three routes, the first stretching all the way from Edinburgh Airport to New Haven, the second running from Haymarket at the West End to Granton, and the third serving the south side of the capital. These last two were both scrapped before they'd even made it off the drawing board due to funding issues. The SNP tried to go one better by scrapping the entire project when they were elected, but MSPs voted to continue. In 2009, a bitter contractual dispute between Edinburgh Tram project manager TIE and the contractors Bill Fingerberger ended in stalemate, bringing construction work to a temporary standstill. Many local businesses who had lost sales of up to 40% due to road closures were themselves forced to close. Problem followed problem. To save money, the line from Leith to St Andrews Square was cut. Unfortunately, this had the knock-on effect of almost halving the projected ticket revenues to 5.4 million. At a stroke, it also made nearly a third of the ordered trams redundant, trams that had already been paid for. Even the concrete used failed to perform, continually cracking and needing to be replaced. The figures didn't hold up either. According to Audit Scotland, 99% of the infrastructure should have been completed by the end of 2010. Only 28% was. More worryingly, 74% of the budget had already been spent. Tax for the leader of the TIE. Amid talks of further cuts that would have ended the line at Haymarket, the Scottish Government stepped in to oversee the remainder of the project, and TIE was shut down, albeit with seven senior staff receiving huge severance packages. Since TIE has been kicked into touch, every deadline has been met and the trams are due to return to Princess Street this May.